What f is this? Come and sit down. <laughs> What's going on? We're just having a, a nice meal. Right, I thought it was just going to be me and you. I think as the sort of mediator and, and very, very good friends of both of you, I think it's a nice idea if we kind of sit here and, and try and put our differences aside and see what happens. No. Yeah, Sorry, definitely no. not. What are you upset about? I'm upset that you've been a friend and you haven't even appreciated the fact that I've been there for you for so much. Verity and I have loved and hated each other on and off for a very long time. It has nothing to do with you. You then attacked me, having attacked slagged you. me off how do I Having slagged you? me off to your boyfriend, who, by the way, where did you meet him? At my house. A guy so I've known what? for years. So I don't why do you know think, why, why you're do you being... think of the dog's And bonnets. then you sit there. Everything's about you... you. Me, 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 me. Like, you're oh, f my ridiculous. God. It's not in a. Babe, there's big going on out there other than your relationship with Sam Prince. I sat there encouraging. It's nothing to do it. with him. It is, though, because you're How? clearly miserable in that relationship. Well, he is and you're taking out on me. I have, don't want anything to do with you. I think you are revolting. We obviously don't like each other. You were never my best mate. I think you're a friend. Okay. And off. Oh my God. Well, I think I've had a up. Well, sorry. yeah. I told you I didn't want to speak to her. She doesn't want to speak to me. I don't get what this is for. Shane. Jim Staler. Would you marry me? Maver, babe. Whew. Get up, get up, get up. I can't, Maver, I can't say yes. This is silly. Hold on, what up. do you mean? What, what do I, what I mean is no. I can't, I'm not letting you propose to me. Never in a million years would I let you propose to me. You, you know that I, <sighs> that I want to propose to you at some point. I'm not going to stand here and let you propose to me in the orangery and make this a special moment because our special moment is is later down the line baby i'm sorry this is gonna hurt you but no no are I you can't. saying no of course i'm saying no i've said no five times i'm sorry i'm sorry you got you're gonna do that come on oh my god oh my god <sighs> i think we're overdue a conversation yeah I'm just, my head is so scrambled. I've just been, I think I've been just as confused as you. And I think looking back at the whole situation, I think I'm, I'm terrified at how vulnerable you make me. And I, I think that's, I know I've dealt with this situation very poorly. Dix, I deserve someone who 100% wants to be with me, who is in and who sticks around through the bad times as well as the good times and is able to communicate with me. I deserve that. I deserve someone who wants to be with me 100% and is there through the lows and the highs. Because that's life. MC was like that. Jules. MC was like that. I think you're both I in very. I don't. Think, I, I think don't. you're both in very different places. I think I you don't. both want very different things. I think he wants to have a fun a time and he wants to party and I think you want to stay in and not do that. I just think of two I'm very not, different listen, people. Jules. You can go now I'll because leave you to it, but, um, I'm not continuing this conversation but, um, anymore. Make the decision for your happiness as well, okay? Because that's what he thinks about everyone else. And so do I. Cool, thanks mm, Not as much thanks as him. Input. Not like him. Thanks so much. What's wrong with you? You're everything to me. So what's going on with Verity then? Um, we've hung out. That's it. I just, I don't get why you're coming to me. Like, you're saying to me every day, you miss me, you yeah. love me, and you're hanging out with Verity. What do you want, Sam? What the f*** do you want? What I want, Inge. You, you want everyone. No, I don't. You, you want what you can't have. When you have me, you want her. And when you have her, you want me. I lost my worth being with you. I literally felt worthless after what you did. And finally, like, I'm getting to get it back. I recognise my worth. I don't need to be with someone who doesn't. I've needed this breakup to rest how I truly feel about you, Inga. So you want to get back together. That's what you want. Inga, I'm in love with you. And I can't seem to shrug you off. Like, and I... you feel like you can be honest and loyal, yeah. respectful. Mm -hmm. And you've been honest about everything so far? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Yeah. Do you promise that? Promise. I miss you so much, Inge. So if you miss me so much, why the f did you think it was acceptable to go and kiss Liv? <sighs> huh?
She kissed me. It wasn't like a big and kiss. And that's a good enough It wasn't like excuse. a big kiss. It was a very much like a tiny kiss. And it was just like a mate kiss. You went and stayed at her house in Henley and had a mate kiss. Yeah. Mate's kiss. With the girl that's been completely slagging me off behind my back. Yeah. And then they, it's, it's irrelevant. How why, it, why is it irrelevant? Because I fucking you didn't love have you my, and I want to be I don't care because you. you didn't have my back with her and then you're going gang with her. <sighs> Fraternising with the enemy. You're not loyal. You're not respectful. And I still can't trust you. You're disgusting. You were the problem the whole time. Mm. Nice. I just think you're a bit lost. Like, what the f are you doing? I've been lost what I truly want. And what I truly want is you. And, like, as much as I've been... As much as I've been messing around with Verity and I have been, like, playing with Liv, what I want is playing you. Playing with Liv? Is you. And, like, I love you. Like, but I, I you truly... don't love me. Can I have a chat with you boyfriend, please? Is that okay? I think... I just think, like, you, you're just a massive joke, really. And if I were you, I really would have touched him. I'm just so glad I can walk away from you not having anything to do with you. And you don't deserve me and you're definitely don't deserve it. Yeah. yeah I'll come join you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Why the hell would you just live? In those moments, I've been confused and... Not good enough. Yeah, it may not be good enough. It may not be good enough at all. And I think I'm just so sorry I've been with you. I feel, I feel so, I think, stupid. I've been so lost what I truly want. You know, like, I love you. But the thing is, Sam, you just say it and it's empty. I hate how we look at each other and you just hate me. And that breaks my Oh. Do you know what? I feel like you hate me too. I love you, baby. I feel like you I say you. these empty words. Do you just call me baby? <sighs> no, I'm not know. your baby. I love you. And that is No, you is. don't. Do. You don't know what love is, Sam. You're Inga, too young. Do you, know what? I, you don't know what love is. Do you know what? I do. You say one thing and you do another and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Let me move on. Let me be happy. You'll keep doing wrong and hiding it behind my back because you don't actually care about me. I do. Inga. You don't. You don't give about my feelings. Do you know what? You don't have them anymore. Good, you cut them out your life. I'm cut out your life. You don't have any of us. Hey, you right? Yeah, you? Not bad. Been better. Why? You went out on Tuesday. I didn't know when you were getting home or whether you were all right or... Why would I, I not be all right? You just called me on the way home, like you usually but do. But it was late. You went out and had a bender. Don't speak to me for bender. almost 24 hours. I was just out. I had a I really fun up, night. I worked great. I'm glad you did. And I woke up the next day thinking I'd at least have a message from you, considering you did bail on me last minute, realised that you were last online at 4am, and it's like, hold on, she had a rager. Then what I do, because I start getting a, a sixth sense in my head being like, well, what actually happened last night? I go on your Instagram and you following a random footballer. Which so who's, footballer? what's all that about? Who? I'm not following a footballer. Last time you did this was when you cheated on me. <sighs> I literally went out with my friend and okay, I came home late so and that was it. And I didn't talk to you till five so I was hung over. you didn't follow anyone? Who am I following? You didn't follow a footballer? No. Why? Who do you not think he? that's a bit I shady? I'm following a footballer. Do you not you're not, but I screenshotted it, luckily, because I thought you'd unfollow him. Are you... So, I don't understand what the problem is, because I followed someone on Instagram. I'm not still following him, and I very quickly unfollowed him. I actually don't even think I meant to follow him. Why would you say that you didn't follow him, but you did? I just can't believe you're actually doing this to me. Last time you did this, you had cheated on me. But I... That so doesn't mean that it's everything that, that happens. Yeah, if I but, follow someone, I'm not cheating on you. why are you not sitting here trying to make me feel better? But I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, cool. I drunkenly followed and quickly unfollowed someone that I didn't know. It wasn't. I quickly. don't think i I don't think it's a dumpable offence. That's how you're making I didn't me say feel. I was dumping you. I'm dumping you. You don't trust me, and you're never going to trust me. And I'm done. See ya. Enjoy your <laughs> summer because you'll be single. You. Do you know what? Hopefully, I'll enjoy it more than Go this. Go yourself. I, I just don't understand why you seem to have such strong opinions on my relationship with Inga. Oh, wow. OK. The conversation once had with Ingham was went completely differently to how I wanted to go. By the time I got to speak to her at Ollie and Garris, she was very riled up. And I blame you for that. This is a, this is a real shame. I actually, um, I saw, I saw Liv today, and I literally said to her, I don't think anyone's ever bad. I generally want to see if I can help him. I gave you the benefit of the doubt there. I actually thought that you changed. I actually thought that you changed. Mm.
And like, and actually, if, if we can just move forward... Just we, clarify really quickly. You very much come into my life when my breakup happens mm. and you have very strong opinions when you hear the bad stuff. I find you incredibly meddling. What have I said? You have said... Go on. You, you don't think Ian was right for me, all this stuff I've heard. Did you see how your relationship... What happened in your relationship? But it, it just you, got you way You went to, to Liv's house and got with her. When I, and she was his ex-best mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm That's single. so callous and unkind. Mm. You also then wanted to date Verity and then telling Verity that you still wanted to be with Inga. Yeah. It's, it's a real f***ed up story that you're creating. Mm. When actually, my story is only coming out of kindness and honesty. And you came here wanting to, some life coaching stuff and I actually sat here, waited for you. You were late anyway. Waited for you, got you some water. Thought we'd sit here and actually I'd sort of help you pass stuff. and thought you'd grown up, but you're a kid. Okay. So I'm going to leave you to your day. Have a great one. I can't help but feel a bit sad from that conversation. It wasn't at all how I wanted it to pan out. I just don't know what to say right now. Well, you're <laughs> fuming, I can tell. It's frustrating for me because I haven't done anything wrong. You owe me an apology. You do. I owe you an apology for probably for putting you on the spot and making you feel awkward. And for but... assuming that I'd done wrong. No. This is where you and I differ. Me following someone on Instagram oh. shouldn't mean I'm cheating on you. OK, but then clarify it to me a bit differently than saying you're single. Can you understand why I thought your remarks didn't really tell me much, apart from the fact that you were probably trying to hide something? But why I'm not do you saying think you I'm are. trying to hide something? There's because, a deeper issue. Because you dumped me. OK, forget the dump. Okay. Forget the dump. How can I forget the dump? How can I, I forget the dump? I, I tried to speak to my girlfriend. Like, there's no, like, you don't want to let your guard down to try and understand where I'm coming from. I do understand where you're coming from, but ultimately I felt a certain type of way and I wanted to address it with Obviously, you. Obviously I want this to work. I just need you to have a bit more faith in me. And I don't really know what anything is without trust. Yeah, and I feel like you need to be able to trust me. I want to trust you and I'll work on that, but don't put me in a position where I'm second-guessing myself or you.